We are at it again! The last you saw us, we had just arrived on the Azores in the Atlantic and now Coco has finally made its way back to Norway no more than three years later. Can you believe it? Apparently we have been lost in the North Atlantic for quite a while. Let's introduce the crew. You know him, you love him. It's Captain Peter. <laughs> hey guys. At the helm right now is uh, Tron Vigo Johansson. Looking good in the Microsoft branded uh, spectacles. Here we have uh, Eivind. And uh, Ina, she's, she's a professional sailor almost. O Olympian, right? <laughs> of course. Uh, and uh, Jenny, so soon to be a world famous uh, chemist, right? We're all world famous around here. Great afternoon comedy. You noobs, you're supposed to have your sails up. <laughs> Having come uh, all the way from uh, Kristiansand in the southern part of Norway, we are now closing in on our first stop on this short journey to Oslo. This is the beautiful, uh, nice town of Sun. We'll, we'll check it out. It certainly looks like a nice town. Hey. <laughs> Good morning! We are underway again. It's been raining for a while now, so I haven't uh, brought the camera up until now. It's now early in the afternoon. We're doing fine. As you can see, I'm wearing the sailing clothes because of the rain. Right now we are approaching a very narrow passageway into the city of Oslo called Drebaksunda. Every year there's a regatta that goes from the city of Oslo all the way in there and out to a lighthouse to the outer part of the, the fjord. Uh, and every year they struggle with the currents in, uh, in this little narrow bit up here in Drebaksunda. So sometimes they're very competitive, the competitive sailors. They they don't want to start their engines because they're penalized by doing so, so they actually anchor in the in the narrow uh, passageway in order to keep from being drawn backwards because of the strong currents. We are approaching Asker, just outside of Oslo. 
where there's a nice harbor here. And our journey of two days has come to an end. It's been nice and a bit nostalgic to be aboard Coca again. We might not see her again ever because she's being sold. Sad, but what can I do? Life goes on. Take care for now. As we are approaching uh, De La Boxenne, I would like to uh, give you a little history lesson. On this island here, behind me, that one, there's a fortress called, sorry about that, Oskarsborg Fortress. And uh, even though Norway initially was neutral during the Second World War, when a German warship, every Norwegian person knows this of course, came into uh, Oslo, it was a covert operation. Uh, we were invaded, essentially. The commander of the fortress gave the order to fire on this uh, warship, even though we were neutral, and they managed to sink it. And that, as the history goes, or the story goes, was enough, gave, gave the Norwegian government and the king and the royal family enough time to flee northwards and then eventually over to uh, Britain. So there are, there are actually two passageways. There's one in this direction and the one we're going through now and this one during the the run-up to the war was closed by a submarine wall so ships had to go through this very narrow way here it gave the fortress enormous uh, control over the traffic it's a good uh, strategic position to have a fortress <laughs> <laughs> 